how to import your existing data in QuickBooks. Importing existing data instead of manually entering them one by one helps you save lots of time. Did you know that you can easily import all your existing data and contacts to QuickBooks? In this video, you will learn how to import your existing data and how to import your Gmail and Outlook contacts. Before we get started, keep in mind that QuickBooks will accept either an Excel or CSV file. Always remember this when importing anything in future in QuickBooks. Let's import. First, let's see how you can import your existing data. Select the gear icon at the top right. Select Import Data under Tools. You have six options to choose from. Bank Data, Customers, Suppliers, Products and Services, Chart of Accounts, and Trial Balances. The steps to import them are the same for all. Let's check out the steps with Customers. There are three steps which you need to follow for importing any file uploading mapping and importing the first step is to upload the file you can also download a sample file in case you want to take a look at the format QuickBooks uses click browse select the file and click open click next to go to the next step in the second step you need to map your fields to QuickBooks fields. This means that you must match your file's field names with the field names QuickBooks requires. QuickBooks will automatically detect the fields with the same names and map them accordingly. In case you don't have any field names to match with the QuickBooks's field names, don't worry about it. QuickBooks will automatically fill this with a no match option. This does not stop you from importing your data. Click next to go to the third and final step. In this third step, you can select all the customers or select only the ones you want to import. In case you want to import specific customers from a really long list, Type the customer's name in the filter by name to search for a specific customer. You can also customize the fields to make any last changes. Now, click Import. You have imported customers to your QuickBooks account. Now you can import details related to your suppliers, products and services chart of accounts by following the same steps. However, the steps to import trial balance are a little different than the rest. Let's see how. From the import data page, select trial balances. Did you notice that you have not seen this page when you were importing other items? This is a checklist. Make sure you meet all the requirements. Click Download a Sample File located inside the checklist box. Now, save this file and open it on your computer. The sample file will look like this. Make sure your trial balance file matches this format, which means that it should have account name, type, detail type, credit and debit field. To make it easy, you simply have to use the sample file as your template. Follow these steps to create your trial balance sheet. Step 1. Copy account names from your original trial balance into the account name column in the sample file. Step 2. Do the same for the credit and debit columns. Make sure you format the credit and debit column cells with number as type. Step 3. 
assign an appropriate type and detail type. Important. Avoid the following detail types. Retained earnings. Accounts receivable. Accounts payable. Undeposited funds. If you have balances for any of these, retained earnings, accounts receivable, accounts payable and undeposited funds in your current trial balance, rename them with the following information when you import. Let us now import the file. Select Choose File. Select your file and click Open. Click Continue. QuickBooks will map your fields to its fields automatically. If you have used the QuickBooks format, you don't need to change anything here. Now, click Continue. In the next step, you can review your data and save your data type as per your preferences. QuickBooks will automatically update this for you. But in case you want to change anything, just click and hold the drop down and select the type you want. Now click import records and select OK. Note the top priority of these steps is to import your trial balance with the correct debit and credit balances for each account as opposed to choosing the right account types or details. Now, let's import your Gmail and Outlook contacts to QuickBooks. Note that the file size limit is 2 MB or 1000 rows maximum. Let's first look at how we can do this in Gmail. To export your contacts from Gmail, log in to your Gmail account. Click on Google Apps and select Contacts from the drop-down list. You will see your list of contacts on the screen. Now, go to More and select Export. Select Export as Outlook CSV and then Export. Save the file to the desired location on your computer. You have now exported your contacts from Gmail. Now, let's perform the same operation in Outlook. Log in to your Outlook account. Click on the People icon on the left navigation bar. This will take you to a new window where you can see all your contacts. Now, go to Manage and select Export Contacts. Select All Contacts and click on Export. Save the file to the desired location on your computer. You have now exported your contacts from Outlook. Go to your QuickBooks account again and perform the same steps for importing your existing data. Sign in to QuickBooks and import all your existing data to QuickBooks.